Gentlemen, and now this is a rare view. Uh, rare means from the back, okay? So, uh, this is this TV, and uh, I'm taking the um, uh, uh, back cover off. And what we usually see in the TV, it's a panel, the power supply, inverters that power the backlight, and um, uh, normally there is a big board located here, I mean actually it goes like this. Uh, this is a TV tuner, cable tuner, and um, uh, various inputs like uh, SVGA, uh, HDMI, that actually connected with this uh, cable to LVDS input of uh, LCD panel. So now this is high cost electronic component that we don't need. We remove it from TV and also we don't need this cable. So now what you see is a power supply and a Pegasus board connected directly with this cable to LVDS input uh, of the uh, LCD panel. So majority of LCD panels uh, so up to 7020p resolution has this LVDS standard connector and this could be powered uh, from our Pegasus board so Pegasus board is powered you see through a USB cable connected to the same power supply so it's completely self-contained system uh, the speakers could be also connected to a uh, Pegasus board delivering up to uh, 2 watts per channel with high fidelity audio. Uh, the Pegasus board has a um, uh, high power CPU, uh, it's Samsung uh, ARM11 CPU with uh, hardware assistant um, uh, video playback, audio playback, 2D and 3D graphics. We have a uh, nice audio codec from Scottish company, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, GSM module with GSM antenna. We actually have um, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas also built in that uh, uh, removes any need for any external antennas or something like that. So right now you can take the back cover, cover it, and you have uh, Wi-Fi and GSM connected TV. So that gives you possibility to use uh, this TV as a media uh, uh, player uh, powered by Linux with additional applications and connected through GSM and Wi-Fi. So now let let us focus on interfaces exactly what uh, how it should be connected. Okay, so <coughs> so we have uh, one one small cable uh, goes uh, from here um, and uh, ending up with um, a mini USB connector that actually powers the uh, Pegasus board. Uh, the LVDS connector uh, is, um, uh, has um, uh, this cable that goes here and connects to uh, LVDS. Uh, uh, LCD module uh, uh, connector and uh, this portion of LVDS connector is actually powers up the uh, LCD panel and uh, it also takes power from power supply so power supply needs to be uh, patched I mean for now with two jumpers here and here and uh, this makes it always on so uh, with the additional cabling connecting this uh, feature connector to this and this connectors gives you ability to control the backlight brightness and um, uh, power uh, with the uh, Pegasus board. Additionally, uh, additionally, uh, you can use uh, this battery or even smaller battery, you know, like getting in here and connecting to Pegasus board that will provide like about uh, 10 hours of um, Pegasus work uh, without uh, powering from AC. 
the standby mode when Pegasus is actually not taking active current it, it could be like about a month of uh, standby time uh, so additional interfaces what we have here is uh, audio input uh, USB and um, uh, the most important is um, uh, full size SD card and uh, micro SD uh, this is 32 gigabyte memory and this is 16 so that gives you up to uh, almost 50 gigabyte of uh, uh, standalone memory here for for your media and uh, other content. Uh, additionally, uh, what you can use here is uh, NFC solution. So here is the connector for NFC antenna, and uh, NFC antenna could be located somewhere here. Then uh, somebody can turn this display into active terminal to sell products and make wireless payments. Uh, again, it was uh, uh, Dimitri from Unicorn Systems presenting 26-inch monitor.